welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. So we are back with another pick a card and a reading. This is a timeless tarot reading. It is love based. Um, we're on a bit of a roll. So we're going to put out a couple of more love videos and then we'll, we'll touch on some other topics. Um, I do have my oracle decks here to support me. So I have two astrology based ones and a few specific to love decks so we can get to the gritty for each of the piles we're going to be looking at their hidden thoughts right so yesterday was how they feel today is their hidden thoughts let's see and honestly like i said it is timeless so as i'm talking in real time um just take it as where you are presently when you stumble upon this video okay so we'll just get right into the piles we've got them from left to right pile one is the tiger's eye pile two is the strawberry quartz and pile three is the howlite crystal okay so i'll give you a moment to select your pile and if you need more time go ahead and pause the video all right, pile one, if you selected this tiger's eye crystal, here's a close up, then this is your reading. We're going to be looking to see your person's hidden thoughts. This could be um, any type of romantic connection. It could be an ex, a current partner, um, someone that you're trying to manifest, a future partner, like what, like, um, like if you're thinking in the future, I've seen people do that. Um, however you want to take this reading as it resonates for you, okay? So I'm going to start with this tarot deck and I will get into those oracle decks. So let's see. How one, Tiger's Eye Crystal, what is this person's hidden thoughts of you? This is in my hand. King of Wands. Go, go, go. Look at that pointing. It's like... I am ascending. I am moving forward. So that's this person's hidden thoughts. It's like, man, I'm I'm really going to be active. I'm going to go for pile one. Um, go, go, go is what I'm hearing in my mind. So it's like very active. Like this person has a very active mind. They think very quick. They they react very swiftly. And um, like you may notice that day to day in their mannerisms. Um, and just how they engage with the world around them beyond this connection so that's this person's thoughts is very speedy very quickly one thought on to the next on to a new point that's how they're thinking and and their thoughts surrounding you is reflective of that like it's a lot of um thoughts jumping around um oh does pile one like this does pile one like me i wonder how pile one felt when i did how pile one felt when i did that like a lot of overthinking very very swift thoughts so let me pull um two more we'll take the bottom and we'll get more clarity from the oracle decks on this person's hidden thoughts what are they secretly thinking about pile one we have the ace of swords um i can tell it's funny because the um makes it seem like I'm not sure, but it's just, it's not that I'm unsure. It's just an odd thought. So this person's secretly thinking that they're sure about you. And it's just weird for me that that's a secret. Like they're certain about the connection. They understand, um, like they have a clear picture of you and what they want with you and they feel like you understand them and i don't understand why these are hidden thoughts like these are hidden thoughts so maybe you're in no contact i guess that makes sense but day to day if this is someone you're interacting with for whatever reason they don't want you to understand how much you get them maybe they're deeply private maybe um they really keep to themselves they don't like to wear their heart on their sleeves but something about um you is they're sure about you in a connection and you can see them in a clear like very very clearly like if you evaluate them or analyze them and you tell them what you think they're thinking or what you think about what they do and don't like you're usually spot on and they don't quite like that um you can read them like that so that that makes sense now that that message um okay came in a little clearer so the last card you have is the ten of cups look at that heartwarming energy so this person um's hidden thoughts is that they can see a future with you um again see very clearly where you stand 
you know, I was already touching on that before that card came out, but they can see very clearly a future with you. They could see a very, very happy home. Um, let me click on the bottom of the deck. That is the six of pentacles. I'll pick up this um, ten of cups so that you can see what I mean, and I'll fix that in a second, but... Um, right you see that happy home with the flowers like they see themselves being with you um and it's not for any reason other than they care about you and they feel like you to connect because this house is off somewhere isolated from the rest of the world they could literally spend all of their time and in their mind the rest of their life just isolated from the world with just you and that would be good enough so that's um what they don't want you to know that's i mean i say don't want you to know but it's more than hidden thoughts so it doesn't necessarily mean that they don't want you to know I, I say that um because these are just thoughts that they haven't shared with you i guess like in some instances they don't want you to know in other instances it's just something that they've been keeping to themselves for some time but with the six of pentacles um it talks about giving and receiving in balance like they see you as an equal as a counterpart someone that would support them as much as they support you they feel like um they would get everything they need from a connection with you they would never lack i'm actually hearing like if your person like has a history of needing uh, of dating around and whatnot like i'm hearing that um there would be nowhere no reason for them to stray so like if this person has a past like of that nature like they've already thought in their mind like there would be no way they they could um step out or cheat on you power one because something about you specifically is um like the whole package the whole package and very nurturing and giving um they think about how giving and um supportive you are with that six of pentacles like if you do favors for them or if you've helped them out like they think about that um and and that like it makes them really happy with that ten of cups card so let me pull from these astrology based decks so i can get more clarity on um this person's hidden thoughts let's see okay so this person may have fire placements um that is aries sagittarius leo they may have some placements of some nature because you do have that fire card look at that heart flying um that's how they make um uh, that that's the that's how their thoughts spiral since we're talking about their thoughts obviously the feelings will pour out as well but um they think about a lot about how you captured their heart um the, the card says confidence optimism passion and bravery so lots of fire energy coming through and even if they don't have those placements it is um the response that they have to you the nature of their thoughts so that also it is some like x-rated 18 plus sexual energy that we won't tap on it's not that kind of reading but like that's that's a lot of their thoughts as well like clearly seeing you know 10 of cups is an abundance of emotions and of expression of such so to express um emotions at that level there could be some form of intimacy um of that nature especially you know with the king of wands and fire like that's the that's the type of thoughts this person has lots of fantasies and whatnot so let me get one more from this deck i'll take the bottom and get the other one very passionate thoughts i'll say that's a clean way to describe it very very passionate especially with that uh, six of pentacles giving and receiving um giving and receiving um equally um I'll say that <laughs> um, you have Virgo. So that may be a placement for you or this person. Integrity, reverence, and service. We talked about that in that six of pentacles, that service, that giving. It is giving a little bit of a dom sub energy. If you don't know what that means, this is not a video you should be watching. Um, or thank goodness it's not that kind of video. But, you know, like I said, we're going to keep it clean. This is not, I don't want to flag this video. So, you know, very giving. This is a person that what they think, their hidden thoughts of you is that you would be there for them through thick and thin, through anything. And they can tell, um, like, it's kind of like ride or die energy. They, they can tell that you do that. But the kicker is that in their hidden thoughts of knowing that that's how you are, that you would give, even if it was like, um... I don't want to say overextend, but you would you would always try to look out for them as best you could. 
they feel the exact same way with that six of pentacles like they know that they could go all in with you wholeheartedly and you wouldn't you wouldn't take advantage of them because you're the same way so you it would it would balance each other out. so if you both have a history of um codependency or um overextending and whatnot then you know it wouldn't it would balance out together if that makes sense sorry if i'm explaining that in a funny way my phone is ringing so you may hear from this person soon um but yeah basically this person doesn't want you to know that because even though they can tell that you would give to each other equally in balance and that you have a history of overextending the same way that they do they still have that fear of being wrong about it so they don't necessarily trust their instincts um enough to express that yet if they do right so let me see at the bottom we do have house eight transformation karma facing fears and legacies so um we talked about fears just now transformation this is also um the eighth house is a card of scorpio energy and it talks about um it sexual energy which we did touch on and it talks about like inheritance so one of the things is learn behaviors i'm getting so like if they learn certain relationship patterns and everything they feel like you have the same learned behaviors like that same inheritance of um relationship either trauma or just experiences overall and they feel like you'd be a good match because of that okay along with all of this passion so let me pull from this other astrology based deck hidden thoughts this person um as passionate as their thoughts are for you um there is a fear of intimacy i will say goodness um lots of fire ironically enough you do have the full moon in uh, aries it says a fiery climax approaches so that again that is that um x-rated energy that i touched on but i mean that's your third fire card so very very passionate energy um very fast in expression very quick in their thinking as it relates to their thoughts of you jumping from place to place from fantasies to um conversations you've had to conversations they'd like to have just a whole spiraling of the mind as it relates to you when you're on their mind but again fiery climax approaches this is a person that's trying to muster up the courage to like just go for it i wouldn't be surprised paul one if this person just straight up goes for it at the bottom you have so far um the gibbous moon which is you're very close to achieving your goal so again you have that uh, king of wands you've got that fire card you have a fiery climax approaches this is a person that is trying to figure out and i'm just is gonna go for it i feel it Okay, power one, this person's going to go for it. So let me, um, and that's part of all of that thinking, right? Because all that passion, um, and I dropped some of the cards. Give me a second. Okay, so uh, in all of those thoughts, all of that thinking, all of those, that overthinking that they're doing, it's it, it's all, it's not just passion. It's not just um, all of the constant fantasizing. It's okay I, i'm gonna go for power one how do i do it how am i gonna go about it what am i gonna ask them am i gonna ask them on a date i'm gonna ask them for their number very quick especially in the speed in which i'm talking like what am i gonna do i don't know how to go about it what's gonna happen oh my gosh miss i like power one so much that's the energy coming through for your person okay which is interesting because you picked the tiger's eye, um, which I think is a very fiery energy. It actually rules um, the solar plexus chakra. Oh my goodness. And as I said that, what is this? 
So it's in reverse, but I'm talking about the solar plexus. I'm talking about that tiger's eye. And look what you get, the lion. Leo, the lion. So full moon in Leo, don't let pride get in your way. Now, it did come out in reverse, which is good in this instance. We're talking about somebody that's going to go for it. Don't let pride get in the way. This is someone that typically is afraid of getting hurt. They would be guarded, but for whatever reason, you ignited something in them with that king of wands. Again, fire, a fiery climax approaches. We're not going to let pride get in our way. Like This person's like, you know what? I can't be afraid. If I'm a, if I'm afraid, I'll regret it forever. Like I'm going to take my chance. I'm going to shoot my shot. So you can expect that soon from this individual if you're not certain what they're thinking. If Which you may very well not know because you're watching a video about their hidden thoughts, right? So they're going to go for it. Now, I will say if you're asking about someone that you're in a current situation with, like a relationship and there's been issues, the house eight shows that there's going to be a transformation, that clock ticking and that six of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, you have full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So if you've been having issues in your connection, um, you don't have to worry about that for much longer. It's going to ease itself out um, and, and you'll, you can expect the more fluid flow of the connection. Those of you where this is a person that's going to approach you, they're trying to shoot their shot, they're going to go for it. Again, the end of a tough cycle approaches. All of this overthinking that they're doing now, that they've been doing, it's like they're finally going to say enough is enough. I'm going to drive myself crazy. I have to just go for it with power one, okay? So... Let me pull from this love based decks. I got four. Yes, that is four. So let's start with this one. I think I'm going to stick with two. For whatever reason, I've been on a roll with two. But if more come out, or if three come out, I'll take it. I won't take a gang of cards. Um, so let's see, pal one. This person's hidden thoughts. So much fire energy in here. The only thing that needs to come out now is Sagittarius, which I've already used my um, astrology decks. So here we go on a pedestal. Look at that. That's how this person sees you with that crown. Like you, you are a king, queen, whatever you identify as. Like they, you are on a pedestal. That's why it's so all of this thinking. They think, oh my gosh, power one is so amazing. Would they even entertain the idea of it being with me like that? That's how they see you. So it says someone new will put you on a pedestal and treat you like royalty. You will feel loved and cherished. So there's a double meaning here. Those of you that um, this is a someone that has a crush on you, um, that, that they are that someone new. Others of you, if this is um, a current connection, you or this person may get some attention from someone else, might instill a little bit of jealousy um, and making someone act in a way, whether it's you acting towards your person and them trying to make you jealous or your person acting towards you because someone else is sending you attention. That's part of that fiery energy, like that hot, hot energy, like it's burning, like hold on, pile one's mine, back off. That's kind of the energy. So like either this is your person treating you that way or they see someone else kind of treating you a little bit better in a way that you deserve. So they're going to get their act together. Um, so let me see what else we can get from this deck. Here we go. That's something interesting. Goodness. Okay. So all of you on the twin flame journey, here you go. If you don't like the word, just let it fly. This is just a deeply spiritual connection. You have that twin flame card. It says you will soon meet your twin flame. It may be filled with challenges until you merge and balance your energies. I actually forgot this card was in that deck. I have not seen it in a very long time. Um, I do have a hybrid twin flame um, soulmate oracle deck that I merged. Like it was two different decks and I merged them. So I'll pull from that last. But I want to make it through what I have now. So I'm on a pedestal twin flame. Um, not necessarily saying this has to be your twin flame, but if that you know aligns with you, then this is your confirmation. Your person feels like this connection between the two of you, like their hidden thoughts is that they see you as that ultimate end all be all person for them, right? On a pedestal twin flame, there's nothing better for them in this world as a person, as a partner then you pile one. That's beautiful. At the bottom, you have fairy tale romance. This romance will feel magical and it will be an exciting adventure and perhaps a happily ever after. That's how they see you. That's how they see this connection, pile one. So that's, that's their thoughts. That's why they're so anxious. They're like, this is so perfect. Let me not be stupid and mess it up. Okay. And I'm not going to lie. 
I heard it in like the way I said it just now. It's like if you heard your person, that's them. That's that's how they would say it exactly. Direct quote. So let me pull from this other deck. I have the um what is that? Um it's an angels oracle, angel romance oracle, and then I have the black Hollywood romance stars, which is based on that deck too. So let's pull to see what else we can get for pile one. What's that? Enchanted love. Look at that admiration. A sacred bond that is divinely guided and harmonious. That's what they see. That's how they think. <laughs> yeah, I almost like took everybody out just now. Sorry about that, pile one. Um, so far at the bottom, you have divine union. I don't know that I would have stopped and looked at this card though if I wouldn't have knocked the camera over just now so that's hilarious but this must be a message for you right congratulations it's time to celebrate both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest and that's a couple all right so that card was wanting to be seen because i was going to keep right on shuffling <laughs> let's see which sometimes i stop i don't always feel called to stop though okay pile one sorry one more mistake. Here we go. Think you. Annoyance. <laughs> you or your partner may be annoyed right now. Give each other space and cool off to avoid more arguments. That's that end of a tough cycle approach. So if um this is if you're in a connection, um one of you has gotten on the other's nerves, even though this still all of this energy flies like if they got on your nerves, if they've annoyed you, they know it. They're thinking about it. And, like, that's why all this fiery energy, like, don't let your pride get away. They're going to apologize for whatever they did. They want to make it right because, again, you're the end-all, be-all. If, um, if you annoyed them, they're pretending to be a lot more annoyed than they actually are. <laughs> they're not as annoyed as they are. Like, they still see you as the end-all, be-all. And, like, they still feel deeply for you. But they're going to make you sweat a little bit like that's what that fire energy you may be a little combative for a little while but they'll get over it with that don't let the pride get in the way like just enough to make you sweat right memories at the bottom someone is walking down memory lane at this time it's okay to reminisce about the past by looking at old photos or messages so that may be your person um again reflecting on whatever situation that may be either annoying or if they um just have a good memory with that fairy tale romance like they just reflect on you a lot they think about you a lot this is a confirmation that you're constantly on their mind so let me pull from um this other deck This is also someone um, that may enjoy annoying you for fun or um, that annoyance card could also be that um, that energy of them being annoyed because someone else is showing you attention, like them being jealous or them trying to make you jealous. There's lots of scenarios coming through. You're all living very different experiences. Um, so let's see what this is. Deception, mm, as I'm saying that. Again, it's a lot of pretending. Someone is wearing a fit, false self mask in this relationship. So whether it's someone that is um, pretending to be more annoyed than they are, um, whether it's someone... Um, that is pretending to be interested in someone else, someone letting someone that's showing them interest, giving them a little too much attention, knowing they're not interested, you know? Like there's just something, um, some deception happening here. But it's also that hidden, those hidden thoughts, right? Like they don't want you to know how much they like you or, you know what I mean? Like, and whatnot. Yeah, definitely the case. So let me pull one more. goodness what's that okay so i have a bunch of cards that i am not taking give me one second so i can get this deck together it's like three cards that's way too many okay let's get this last one from this deck there it is ha huh. release your ex time to come the time has come to clear your energy 
I got a lot with that. Let me see what's at the bottom. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help from others. So listen, some of y'all can be a bit messy at times. So with the deception and release your ex, like some of you may um, be pretending to an engage an ex or you know what I mean like or like they feel like an ex may be showing you special attention or it could be the other way around when they feel like you're thinking that but it's all a game like because of the whatever annoyance or mad like you're just game playing just to I guess in your mind or in their mind keep the other engaged so if that's what they're doing or you're doing here's a confirmation others of you if you're in a connection it's like oh let me pretend that I'm thinking about ending it. Like, don't play with people's feelings like that. But either you or them may be doing that. Um, others of you that are not so um, messy. <laughs> the deception and the release your ex. It is that fear. That um, fear of intimacy. Um, if you've been hurt in the past. Or if they've been hurt in the past. Of step stepping fully and presently into the connection because you know they've been lied to um they have past memories right memories here memories of an ex that treated them certain or maybe you remind them of an ex like issues right and um they, they're definitely thinking about reaching out to friends um about how to engage you whether it's due to an argument or just trying to shoot their shot in general like they're they're thinking a lot like maybe i should ask my friends my friends are a lot better at this than me like that's how um your person's thinking okay so let me pull from this twin flame soulmate hybrid deck really quickly to get more of their hidden thoughts so we can close this out because this, this read this pile's a bit longer than i thought it's, it's a bit five minutes over so i got two it's funny because as I said that two cards came out immediately so I'm going to take those and close this out at the bottom of the deck you have divine timing that is your second clock in this reading so that is your confirmation that the time is near and then the cards that fell love nest beautiful it's feeling like that ten of cups that's buried underneath there that's how they feel um and then look at that captured like they are yours 100% even if they don't want you to know you've captured them and that they're locked down with that is exactly what it is like they're not going anywhere they're not worried about anybody else doesn't matter if they they pretended to interact with the next it doesn't matter if other people showed them attention and they flirted back that person knows that like in their mind they're yours and they're not going anywhere and in due time this will come out okay so that is all i have for you today pal one hopefully this resonated if it did please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching all right pal two if you selected this strawberry quartz here's a close-up of it then this is your reading we're going to be looking at your person's hidden thoughts i have this tarot deck i have like two astrology based oracle decks so we can get some energy there and then i have four love based decks so we can get more clarity and clarifiers on this person's hidden thoughts so let's see how two strawberry quartz crystal what are they thinking all right quickly okay you've got the hermit it's that sixth house virgo energy um either they're thinking they need a little time to themselves or they're thinking that you may want some time to yourself let me see if i can get more clarity on that but outside of that they're thinking a lot they're thinking a lot um just because um virgo is analytical energy it is attention to details so they're thinking um intensely about you and your connection um secretly without you knowing about it right um they're paying attention to the fine details of the connection they're paying attention to your mannerisms your actions the things you say they're hyper analyzing every aspect of the situation um whatever that may be okay Yes, Eight of Wands. That is messages coming in quickly, thoughts coming in quickly, action. Um, if in, Historically, for me personally, um, since I'm the reader, it may make sense. When I see that card come out for me when I'm reading um, for myself or when I have, um, whatever question, regardless of the topic, 
I get clarity on it like the next day when I see this Eight of Wands card, okay? Definitely so. So um, this person may be looking for clarity tomorrow. Like they may be looking to clarify something tomorrow with you. Um, what is this? The hangman. That's Pisces energy. So you have Virgo Pisces axis on the table. Virgo, um, again, it is the sixth house of your day-to-day -day life. It is wellness. It is service. Um, it, it, it's all of the giving energy. Uh, it represents kind of... I don't want to say the physical plane, but to some degree, as Pisces rules the spiritual realm, it is the subconscious mind. Oh, Virgo is like the rational mind. It's the conscious thoughts. It is the logical aspects of life. And then with Pisces, it's like the magical side, the dreamy side, as it's ruled by Neptune. It's um, the fantasies. It's the not clear aspects of the connection. So again, when I say clarity is coming, possibly even tomorrow, but definitely as quickly as it can, because this person wants to clarify things very, very quickly. Um, with that, with that eight of wands in the middle, because again, you have rational mind straddling um, that with the subconscious mind. Okay. Now you do have another Pisces card. Now I read the moon as both the cancer and pisces placements but because you already have pisces on the table um I'm, I'm seeing this person is not leaving it to chance they're looking to come in and clarify the situation with you now some of you that doesn't mean that they're going to do it that's just how active their mind is they're really trying to figure out what what is real and what isn't as it relates to the connection right with the moon that's confusion but it's all a lot of feelings involved a lot of passion involved with that eight of wands it's like do, does Paul to really like me? Am I imagining it? Like, what is the connection? Like, if this is something that's new and hasn't started, is it an ex? If it's an ex, it's like, oh, does Paul to want to try again? Like, I don't know. I'm trying to feel him out. Um, if this is someone you're currently with, you, it, it, it's giving a hot and cold energy. That's their perception of you. Um, or at least some of you, that's the case. Others of you, that's this person's energy. Like they're intentionally being secretive, mysterious, hiding, hot and cold, not not very clear because they want you to chase them in that eight of wands. Like some of you, this person's like wanting you to chase them. So they're intentionally being super mysterious and unclear. Um, now that's not all of you. That's, you know, about what and what. Some of you is just... Um, them trying to figure things out others of you is what i said before it's them trying to figure out the logic like where you stand first before they reveal their hand that's what it is um so let me um i'm gonna pull from this strategy based deck to get more information here about this yeah hot and cold energy but again some of you it's intentional others of you because this some of you is intentional so that they can be a little more mysterious others of you it's fear so they want you to show your hand first and um like they, they don't know how you feel like they get the same energy from you like you know logically sometimes they feel like it's clear that you like them other times it's like blurry they're not sure so um if you if you're giving that energy or you think you don't realize you are just be mindful of how you come across as well because it looks like it's possible in some instances, um, pal two, you're mirroring this person. Like you're giving each other the same energy. Okay. Pal two, their hidden thoughts. Trying to get this together. Okay. There we go. Okay. House five. Right, see the bird that's, see how the bird's singing, that's music, that's speaking, um, saying what you wanna hear, trying to figure out what's the right thing to say to you, okay? Like what, what do you want to hear from them, okay? And then you have passion, play, children, confidence, creativity. And house five is Leo energy, is the house of joy and pleasure. Um, they're trying to figure out what it is. They may actually be, that's a house that will rule like a, a casual, fun, no strings attached date. Like, you know, like like seventh house is a relationship, so it is serious commitment. But fifth, fifth house is like, hey, let's go out, let's enjoy each other's company. That's what this person's thinking of. Like maybe if I take pow two out i get pow two to go out and do something fun with me then it'll clarify what this is right like am i imagining it like am i just fantasizing and it's not real like is it real like day to day like what what 
and mm, look clarifying that confusion is Pisces again so this may be you two may have 12th house sinistry right the card says intimacy intuition and compassion so this you may have 12th house sinistry um, with this person because it's so confusing for the both of you right now um, I have three cards and I'm not taking them give me a second I just want one more and I'll take the bottom. So pile two. Um, but yeah, this person definitely is thinking about taking you out, getting you to go do something fun um, to kind of break the ice and see what the potential of this is. If this is something new, um, if this is something established, um, they're trying to lighten the mood like make it less intense overall so this could be your current partner they're just like it's been so intense lately especially if there's been drama or if it's getting stale they're like let's let's liven it up a little bit let's go do something fun maybe even a concert with that music that bird singing right here we go exactly venus look at that pearl they may even get you a gift some of you some of you is going to be a gift of some sort give and receive love find value see beauty so venus rules the second and seventh house that i just mentioned um and also the signs of libra and taurus so we have those energies on the table this is a very luxurious pile this is like fancy date energy even if that's not your thing whatever fancy date is for you because five house five it is again joy pleasure ruled by leo which is the sign of um like a, of attention of like um star power and again venus is everything beautiful everything um pleasurable as well so this person's wanting to really explore the connection not only in a more meaningful way but in a fun enjoyable pleasurable way and again it came through in the last pile this is not that kind of reading a bit of an x-rated 18 plus adult theme coming through again we're not going to go into detail because i don't want this video flagged on youtube it's not that reading um but we do do readings of that nature on the channel so if that's what you're interested in um go back and look at some of the other ones okay so yeah it's feeling romance it's feeling sensual it's sexy just fun enjoyable things and you have the moon again okay satisfied what is that oh my goodness okay so uh, slipping out is the sun and fire which <laughs> so the sun is um self-express embodied truth which is the planet associated with that fifth house energy but i'm not going to take all of these cards but i just think that was some confirmation for those of you especially since this pile seems to have a lot of co confusion associated with it but again that moon here again satisfy emotional needs nurture self and others so I see this person is actively, um, in some instances, some very specific instances, they're actively planning a date night with you. The moon here twice confirms that with Venus in the fifth house. It's It feels like a date, um, something nice, something pleasurable, like nice food, nice drinks, if that's your thing. Like just something nice. That's what this person is planning. And again, at nighttime because in the evening because of the moon, possibly even during a full moon or a new moon since moon cycles seem to be a theme here, okay? So let me pull from the next astrology based deck. And maybe one of you is very lunar in nature okay. and one of you could be a cancer or fourth house dominant you know just to clarify what I mean by that goodness look at me okay dropping cards got it okay pile two their hidden thoughts get another shuffle your cards are sticking together that's interesting okay pile two What's this i just want to it's like this deck doesn't want to talk um and then it's like it's almost like a joke like your person may be a practical jokester because i'm trying to get this deck to give me cards and it's sticking i may actually just dip out on a deck like not even worry about it because when i'm like come on give me a card it's like your hard work is paying off like really wanting attention like keep like keep on keep going like either they feel like that with you or they feel like you're doing that to them like making them work really hard 
for your affection or really hard for your attention. Like, come on, you got it. You're almost there. Like, that's, that's the energy that's coming through. So let me... Please be two so I can be done. Um, I think it's only one. Um, yes, and it's funny because it's actually two Mercury energy. So, um, like at the bottom. So, your card that came out as communication is key. New Moon and Gemini. So that's ruled by Mercury. That is the third house energy of communication. So that actually confirms date night because that's that car rules transformation and short travels. Okay, like, and then um, you have full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. Okay, so you're doing great. It's giving you're doing great energy. So that's either how they feel and the energy they're sending to you, or um, what they want from you. Like what you want to say to them. They want your um, affection. They want you um, your confirmation. But again, a communication is going to happen because this person looks like they're actively planning a situation where um, communication would happen. Here we go. Virgo energy came through again. At the bottom, a time to give rather than take new moon of Virgo. So again, yes, this person's likely going to gift you something or gift, like take, try to take you somewhere or do something nice for you. That's just the energy that's coming through. That's what they're secretly thinking about. So if I'm spoiling the surprise, I am sorry. But again, I mean, that's what you get when you when you when you like look at psychic readings i don't know what to tell you <laughs> so what do you need to release the waning moon okay so releasing something so uh, release what do you need to release here is um putting it out on the table clearing the air right communication is key what do you need to release what do we need to get off our chest so like what do we need to say how do we feel that's what's coming through so let me pull from these four love based decks to clarify and then i will wrap this up when i split the deck i saw a new romance so it's either a rekindling if we're talking about an ex that's on their mind um if this is new incoming crush energy the confirmation is the new romance and if this is an established connection they're looking to truly truly refresh right what do you need to release communication let's do something nice enjoyable fun so that's what's coming through okay this person's hidden thoughts so let me get two very very quick okay can't show this card on camera at least not whole thing um i will say she's cooking and eating so again dinner like something nice but it says common law union you may have a living relationship that is bound by love without the matrimonial rules so for me it is not necessary some of you this is true the case this is the case sorry i'm hiding that card some of you that is the case um it is for you establish connection others of you it's like trying to establish that right um it feels like taking the relationship to the next level regardless of where you stand in it um blocking it down becoming more stable um closing the bridge right and making sure that you two are kind of committed to each other that it seems like this person wants to be taken a little more seriously okay that's what their hidden thoughts are whether they've expressed that or not most likely not okay look at that soulmate your soulmate will come into your life to challenge you and help you grow it would be an undeniable connection again challenge you and help you grow this that's what i mean by like they want to be taken seriously they feel like you're um you're a person that they could see themselves with forever you know like or at least a long time and they're willing to work at it hence communication is a key and what do you need to release like they're willing to work and put the effort that's their thoughts is they're realizing that you know especially since you have at the bottom it's complicated many external factors are complicating this relationship making it difficult to take things to the next level but they're they're committed they don't care how complicated it is they understand that it's complicated but they feel like this connection is worth it that it's worth the effort it's worth the work okay so let me pull from this next deck. All right, how to. All right, they're hidden thoughts. Exactly. Here's your confirmation. Make a move. And look at that. It's a date night. Okay the time is now someone is planning to take action or it's time for you to make the move what did i say i love it when cards come out 
after I've said things to confirm and give you guys that, okay? So I'll pull one more and I'll take the bottom and then I have two more decks, two more, we're almost there. Exactly. <laughs> I said, well, it's the two more, we're almost there and look what jumps out very soon. So look at that out too, I love that. Be clear about what you want because within the blink of an eye, it will be yours. Okay then. So at the bottom, we have exciting news. Good news is coming your way, whether it be a pregnancy, an engagement, or moving in together. Get excited to celebrate. So some of you, it is a moving in together that this person is going to ask. Very clearly, that's your second time that that's coming through. Some of you, it may be that they want to um, start a family with you, depending on your stage of the connection. Others of you, it's just going to be very fun date night or something like that, okay? Depends on where you are and what the nature of your connection is, okay? So let's see. Their hidden thoughts. Okay, so this is very, very interesting. I don't know if some of you here, um, like if the exciting news card just freaked some of you out. <laughs> because like I know the first reference is um yes it is it's pregnancy but flying out of the deck it is children in reverse like absolutely not so those of you that were like no that's not happening <laughs> okay you know the universe sees you and that is a confirmation that it's still your pile and no it's not about children it's more about fun and and hanging out and enjoying things in that fifth house energy because the fifth house does also rule children your firstborn. So those of you where children is what you want, you know that this is you, but I'm feeling like there's a, a some of you at least that the, the word children just is not, like that pregnancy word was a thing, okay? So you have new love at the bottom. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. It could be that this connection is way too new for you to even be considering that. And so this is your confirmation that you don't have to worry about that if that's the case. And um, the you're also getting a bit scolded um, from the universe. Like this is supposed to be messages that this person's thinking of, but like the universe is coming through like let go of control issues, right? Like you don't allow the situation to unfold naturally. Like some of you overreacted by certain messages in the reading, whether it was that um, pregnancy, whether it's the moving in, like some of you are not trying to live a common law. Like some of you don't believe in moving in together before marriage. Like, you know what I mean? Things like that. So it, let go of control issues, not saying you know, budge on things that you just do not want to do, but that's a message, right? Um, a lot of situation to unfold naturally. Now, also, it could be this person's thoughts. It could be messages from the universe. It could be this person's thoughts like, wow, um, how to kind of need to lighten up and stop being so uptight and so controlling and, you know what I mean, not budging in any way you know, have a little more fun, a little more pleasure in life, right? Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So some of you have issues surrounding your family and that is why um, that energy came through. The children in reverse, healing family issues, why you have the two moon cards. Some of you may have issues with your maternal figures in your life, um, but it just feels like there's some family issues that's affecting the way you maneuver relationships and romantic connections, okay? And this person can see, they can see that. Like, gotta be some issues with um, your family, something you've seen, the way you grew up, specifically with the maternal figures as you have two moon cards, okay? So let me pull from this. I almost closed it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, let me pull from this Twin Flame Soulmate Hybrid deck. And we'll close this out after that. What is that? There's a card that jumped out. Okay, it is proposal, and I'm not. I'm not even done shuffling, but we'll take it again. This is. It could be depend again, depending on the stages, and this is confirmation for those of you too. Like when we say that exciting news, I did see with the Venus card and like going out. Like it could be this nice proposal coming through for some of you if you're at that stage of where marriage would be a thing. Um, like we don't want to live together anymore. Just living together, want to take that next step, or um, let's move in with the intent to get married. Things like that. Some of you, it is a proposal. Others of you, it's just like, hey, let's go out. Like a proposal doesn't have to be um, a formal 
proposal for marriage it could be hey let's hang out hey can i have your number um a proposal of any kind at any level okay let me get one more and i will take the bottom and close this out well that's a message yeah so separate look at that missing piece so i'm not gonna lie some of you this is someone that um you this is that message i'm trying to find where i'll just put it here because we're done um that is a message for um those of you that are um separated and a connection what's at the bottom book of love that makes sense <sighs> some of you that, like where it's not that let's separate Ooh, I got all kinds of things now. So those of you where it is, I don't want to forget the point, S separating. Like this may be a separation prior to like an engagement or whatever. And it's also um, dang, I lost it. So maybe, I, maybe it'll come back to me. But those of you where we're not talking about separation, this piece of person sees you as a missing piece of their heart. That's what that imagery is on that card. I don't even know where I was going with that, um, where it is separate. I, maybe I'm not supposed to be saying. It's like this person is thinking some things that they're not going to say. Just know that. Especially if there's issues, like they're thinking about things that they're not going to engage you on. So like if they're thinking about separating, like they, they've thought about separating, they don't want you to know that that happened because, you know, they want to they wanna proceed and it doesn't make sense for you to, it doesn't, it's not necessary for you to know that they thought about ending the connection, right? When they know that they're going to proceed with it now. Deceptive. Mask. So like, again, hidden thoughts. There's things that they don't necessarily want you to know about that they've been thinking or that they did in separation, right? Like if it, like... If this person's going to come in and ask you out again, especially if this is an ex, right? If this is an ex, during whatever break or period where you don't work together, they don't want you to know about anything that happened for that duration because they're going to, when they come back in, they want to start fresh. Um, they're going to hide however they lived their life when they weren't with you. Those of you where it's a new person, their past, they don't want you to know about it at all. Like it's in the past. That's it not relevant to this connection um and i think that's why i spaced out on that message that i was gonna say okay so take with that from that what you will um very very interesting very colorful reading how to so hopefully it resonated if it did please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching all right, pal three, if you selected this how light crystal then this is your reading so we're going to be looking at your person's hidden thoughts um any type of romantic connection past present future um you know whatever your situation is you're all going to have varying experiences to apply to this reading um, i'm going to start with this tarot deck and then i have two astrology based decks and four love themed decks so let's get into it how three how light crystal mm. Okay, I heard skull and bones, which makes sense with the imagery, but that maybe means something for you personally or this connection. But you have the five of pentacles, so lack. Um, this person feels a lot of lack right now, Very a lot of uncertainty with the connection. Like maybe even feeling like they're not good enough, like they don't have enough to offer, like why would Paul wouldn't want me? But in that, they still deeply, deeply have a lot of feelings for you, right? They still want to try. They like to try with this Ace of Cups. So while they feel like they don't have a lot to offer you, they still would like to try to offer you something, okay? And that was quick. Yeah, they don't want to miss out. They don't want to miss out. Um, You've got the five of cups in reverse, which is a card of spilled milk, but it's in this deck, we are looking at the two cups we have to offer like no i don't have much to give to pile three like i have a lot that i'm lacking in a lot that i need to grow in a lot that i need to establish in my life but i don't want to miss out on that opportunity to have a cup to extend a cup and share a cup with pile three um especially since you have at the bottom of the deck the lovers gemini energy third house energy but again the lovers look at that couple very happy like they, this person feels like they don't want to miss that chance at love with the ace of cups 
and the lovers because they're worried about the fives, the instability, the uncertainty of the connection and the and whether or not it's gonna last. Like this person's like, even if I don't think it's gonna last, I'm willing to take a chance to develop this further with pal three because it. I feel intensely for them. Like that's how this person feels. They, they feel intensely for you and they, again, five of, five of pentacles, feeling like a lack, um, but still not wanting to miss out in that five of cups, okay? Because they feel like this, this they feel like the situation is truly unstable with these two fives. Just so we're clear, but um, you do have the two traditional and like back in the day when people were learning tarot, it's like the the soulmate connection is Ace of Cups in the Lovers card. So like you got that combination. Um, so it says a lot about the connection and how this person sees it. Okay. Very, very deep and intense feelings for you, even though they feel unworthy of it. Okay, so I'm going to pull from these astrology-based decks to get more clarity. Uh-huh. Chiron. So you have hurt and healed, right? This person has a lot of um, demons, a lot to work through. Um, Gemini may be a prominent placement for one of both of you because you do have Gemini. Again, curiosity, intellect, and networking. Or that could be a symbol of you two mirroring, right? Um, those of you that um, are on a twin flame journey could be that energy as well. You have the south node, right? Destined to release. Um, this person feels like you're end-all be-all. You feel so familiar to them. They feel like you, you could help heal them of their traumas. They feel like they could help heal you of your traumas. Like those are the things. Like the, the hidden thing right here is their insecurity. They don't want you to know about it. But also how intensely they feel. Chiron in the South Node is so familiar. It's like you, you trigger this person's shadow. You trigger all of this person's trauma. Everything they've experienced that hurt them in the past. Like you remind them of that um, in the best and worst ways. Okay. So house 12. That makes sense. 12th house sign street. Spirituality, transcendence, karma, sacrificial service, and healing. So that's this person's um, thoughts on this connection. Like that's how they see it. That is also Pisces and Neptune energy stepping into the reading. Okay, very, very intense merging of the souls where um, they feel like they sometimes they feel like they don't know where you begin and where they end in the connection. Even if you're not in a committed situation, even if it's new, like this is a person that is dreaming of you, that thinks about you all the time, that just feels like you're one with them. And like if you two are in a crowded space together, they don't even know, they don't even notice the other people around. Okay. But they don't want you to know that that's how intensely they feel. Like they have a fear of losing you as well. That's coming through. All of that's coming through. What's this? Yeah. Full moon in Sagittarius. I'll put it up right. It says, look at the bigger picture. They 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 lack that. They lack that, right? You've got um the Gemini energy that came through twice, um, right here in the lovers and whatnot. Like that's the Gemini Sagittarius axis. That's third house, yeah, ninth house energy. So pay attention to that. This person lacks that ability to see the whole picture. So right, even though um like that five of cups in reverse, same energy, they, they don't they they're like I I'm not good enough for pile three, but I don't care. I'm gonna try to do it anyway. They don't realize that their potential with this low self esteem they have, um, that they have the potential to be like your perfect match and that they are and that you may even see them as such, but they just have such a um negative self worth negative self perspective that um they just they're just like man pile three is just way out of my league, but I don't care, I'm gonna go for it anyway. Let me get one more. Um, and also that look at the bigger picture in reverse with the Chiron and the South Node. You enlighten them in ways they never thought, right? So before I take this, it's face down. Um, they they can see like 
they start to see things they never thought. So like you teach them things, they learn, they heal through learning with you. Like you open their perspective, things that um, was buried in their subconscious, their habits, their self um, depreciating tendencies, their self sabotage in that 12th house energy. You you bring all of that to the surface and help them see when they couldn't with that look, um, look at the bigger picture, okay? So what do we have? We have, we have uh, full moon and Taurus, your dreams need a practical plan. So if this person is a dreamer and not an actor, you're the type um, that really makes them hit the ground running. Like you give them the motivation, you give them the inspiration. You have possibly even teach them step for step, like, hey, this is how you go about it. Like you might be helping to build this person up, right? Building up their confidence with new moon and Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Now with this being their hidden thoughts, you are in inspiring them without realizing it. Like you don't even know how much you're inspiring this person and making them be a better version of themselves. A making, forcing them to heal, forcing them into their North Node energy, forcing them into um, taking the measures to improve their life. Cause they're doing all of that with the intention of being good enough for you um, in, in providing for you in um, being on the same level or above you so that they could feel more worthy, okay? So let me pull from these love-based decks. We'll close it out. I feel like Cloud 3 is moving along. It's very straight to the point. This person's like, I am a bum. But Pile 3, for whatever reason, may take a chance on me. So we'll see. Um, that is the energy. And I'm not saying this person's a bum. They are not. But this is the type of person that would 100% call themselves one. Like, I have no idea what Pile 3 wants with me. But if they're going to go for it, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> because they don't see their own potential. But the, the thing I can see here is that as an outside party, just reading the cards, this person doesn't even realize how great they are and can and will be if they continue to develop so let's see hidden thoughts choices see um two or more will be vying for your attention at once you'll have to choose which one to pursue that's it they don't want they, they're like listen if i'm gonna throw my hat in the ring for pal three like pal three has all of the options in the world like i have to step it up because like pal three could possibly um have anybody they want, especially with office affair. You'll meet someone in the office or connected to work, tre tread carefully. Give me a second, let me cover this card. I don't know if I can show this one. But again, um, office affair could be that you you know one another related to work, but it is also um, showing, like we talk about work ethic and building and learning and growing and being becoming successful. That's this person's thoughts of becoming more successful because you have options and whatnot. You have block from love at the bottom. It says there may be emotional baggage from the past. Let me just, maybe emotional baggage from the past blocking you from true love. It's time to release it. I think I mentioned Twin Flames earlier. That card is revealing itself um, after I mentioned it in that lovers and that Gemini energy that was coming through, okay? So yeah, this person's trauma as it relates to relationships, as it relates to feeling good enough and worthy of you stems from past trauma, right? That's why you have Black from Love. So even as this person, um, I'm just going to say because it's coming through, even as this person engages you and, and wants to um, pursue you and not wanting to let you get away and taking a chance even though they don't feel worthy, it's a certain hollowed energy surrounding the connection until they heal because it, it feels... Um, I don't say bare, but it, it, it does. It feels empty. It feels hollow because they're, like they, they're, they're guarded, right? They're not allowing themselves um, to truly express it. And they know that, but they're, they're um, trying to work through that. What is this? Exactly, mischances. chances. This person's like, listen, I'll heal while I'm in a connection with Pal 3. I don't have to wait <laughs> because you have like, they're like, they're not doing it. If I've cups in reverse same thing you have missed chances it says have you considered all your options did you give it everything in the end we only regret the chances we didn't take in reverse pile three like your person's like i'm not missing a chance no i'm not <laughs> um self-love like i'll i'll figure it out you know as you love who you are and who you become as you love who you are, you become more confident with your relationship and with yourself right confidence is your key like this person's like i'll fake it until i make it 
right? Like I'll grow into who I need to be with to keep power three, but I'm going to go for them. Doesn't matter that I'm that five of pentacles. Doesn't matter. Freedom. It says freedom. When we can be our truest selves, we are then able to love, to freely love exactly like this person they know who they are they know where they are um the self-esteem is low but they're like we'll work on it we'll work on it we'll work on becoming who we want to be um i just want to pursue power three also um because they're comfortable even though they feel like you're way out of their league they're comfortable pursuing you because of it seems like whatever that your interactions with the per this person are they feel accepted by you right with that fruit that truest self right they feel like you accept them for who they are um romantic or otherwise if it's just you know someone that's a friendship um oh crap my phone's gonna die soon let me hurry up okay you have spiritual awakening uh your partner is sensing that there is something profoundly important about this connection all right paul three i hate to rush your pile but i don't have time I do not have time and I, it's getting late, so I'm going to go to bed soon, <laughs> okay? Um, you have express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? But again, with spiritual awakening, this person can tell that um, this is something that's going to change them for the better. You have unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Again, that's this person's low self-esteem coming through, but they're willing to try again. They're hoping that you like them back or that you're willing to continue to try as you learn more about who they are and their shadow. And let me take one here and we will close it out. Three cards. Okay. Wings of love. Tie the knot. Makes sense. Shifting gears, right? This person's going to do whatever they have to do to keep you in their life long term. They're going to shift gears because they want to soar with you. They want to tie the knot eventually. Love song, okay? So that is the message from this person. That's their hidden thoughts. I had to rush it because this person is rushing clearly as well, but I also was not fully prepared for this reading. So that is all I have for you today, Pal 3. Hopefully it resonated. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.